ITC TechShare. I'm Tom Grissom. In this demonstration today, I would like to show you how to connect a Windows 8 tablet to the VGA cable so we can project the screen to the front of the room from the ceiling projector. All right, so to begin with, much like we did in the previous episode, we, if we don't have a standard VGA port, we must find the proper adapter. So in this case, I have a mini display port to a VGA adapter. I plug that into my device. Once again, this is trapezoid in shape, so it can only be plugged in one way, so make sure you plug it in the correct way. And then if we also want to have sound, make sure that you plug the sound jack into the headphone port of your device. So I'm going to treat this tablet like a laptop, essentially. So I've got everything connected. What you're seeing at the front of the room is the desktop tower uh, screen. So we're on switch number one. I'm going to reach down select switch number two from my Extron video switch box. Now this particular model I need to actually go out here and turn on this video source. So I'm going to go to my devices tab, go to project. I want to project to a second screen and I want to duplicate this screen. I could extend it, however it'll take just a couple seconds for this to match up. And now then my screen is duplicated to the front of the room. Just to show you that it's a Windows 8 tablet, here's the familiar tiles. So you can see this, let me turn this around so you can see everything working in, in real time here. All right, so I was successful connecting with the wired. However, we also have some new capabilities with Windows 8 tablets and Androids. Uh, we have something called Miracast. So I'm going to disconnect this. I'm going to leave it on video switch number two here. So as soon as I unplug this, you'll see the display go away at the front of the room. So once that goes away, let me disconnect this. At the ITC, we've been working for over two years now with a wireless video kit. So we have four of these available for checkout. So to show you, I'm just going to hook everything up. These are all the parts that you need. I've got a surge protector here. We have an HDMI to VGA converter box. And then this little box is the Miracast receiver. And this one happens to be a Netgear PTV3000. So I'm going to plug both of these into my power adapter. Both of these boxes require power. And then I still do need to have my VGA cable. So on this converter, this converter box converts from VGA to HDMI. And I need that HDMI connection. You can see it's booting up here as soon as I turn that on. I need that HDMI connection to connect to this uh, Netgear box. And then if I want to have sound, I also have a little audio jack splitter here. So now then I have this all connected. That's all I need to do. I'm just using this VGA cable to go back to the, uh, to the projector uh, that's mounted in the ceiling. And you should be able to see here in just a second. Uh, let me go over here to switch number two. Should be able to see in just a second. Uh, it takes about 20 seconds for this little box to boot up. It says ready for connection. So now then I'm ready to display my Windows, uh, Windows 8.1 tablet. So let me log in here real quick. And once I log in, I just fold my keyboard back here. I'm in tablet mode. I'm completely wireless. I'm going to go to my devices tab and I'm going to select project from the menu and it's going to give me a choice. It finds, this, in this case it's called push to TV, so I'm going to select that push to TV, which is this Netgear box. It's sending a signal wirelessly right now between these two devices, and again in 15, 20 seconds, if, every, if everything goes okay, you'll see everything connected. So now then I'm completely wireless. Uh, I can go back here, um, you know, do whatever I need to do. I can roam about the room. Uh, I also like to be able to come out here and let me put this down and use the keyboard here just for just a second. Uh, I also like to come over here and use a program called OneNote. So I provided some notes out there and I've written several blog posts about this. But if you go to the uh, ITC TechShare episode 51 notes, you'll see a little picture. These are all the devices and the way that I have everything connected. Uh, there's also a blog post I'll provide in the notes and if you follow that link, that will take you out to a blog post that explains all the different components and parts uh, and gives you a, a, a parts list out there for doing this. So I've got another little video out there as well. So that's it. That's how easy it is to connect a device, in this case a Windows 8 tablet. We showed you how to connect both wired and then wireless. 
So until next time, this is Tom Grissom. Keep on learning.